So you never played a single video game in a huge vision? My mission to project this opinion on you has begun. While the smart TVs with 4K or 8K technology are getting all the attention, people are sleeping on projectors. A projector, we offer you a big screen with enough brightness to work even in daytime and on top of all that, in a much better portable form. In today's video, I have rounded up what I think are the best gaming projectors so far. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these gaming projectors, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Something extraordinary came out of the market this year by Optoma UHD38. Be cautious, it may hurt your pocket a little bit. Best high-end projector. My hardcore gamers, it's time for you to try out the different gaming types. Try out to enjoy the cinema experience massively on the wall with a bigger vision, bomb sound and perfect vision. Sounds great, right? Optoma UHD38 came out of the market in white shade. The lightweight construction has a distance lens of 4.0 together with 1.1x zooming and plus minus 40 degree keystone correction are so easy to set them up. Outstanding 4K Ultra HD 33 inch size technology is assigned at 4000 lumens of brightness where it produces over 8.3 million color tones and ensures sharp and detailed images. Supported by HLG and HDR10 features, the vibrant and lifelike colors lead you to cherish them. Let's finish with bad news. The black colors are washed out and look somehow average. I would expect something extra in quality because for goodness sake, if I'm about to pay this price which is a lot and I want to receive a lot, period. Let me tell you why is it a perfect fit for gaming and you will agree with me. It projects an ultra fast 240Hz native refresh rate. This lag free gaming means that the images will never tear. For HD resolutions, the input lag reduces to 4.2ms and in a 4K goes up to 16ms, UHD 38 works the best at any challenging fast paced games. The smoothness carries on in enhanced gaming mode which provides the lowest latency possible. The high contrast can be so beneficial on MMORPG games because you can see the loot on and hidden objects you know it's important to notice and pick them up. If you decided to make it rain for one of the best projectors in the market, this might be the right pick for you. Pros. Low input lag, gaming mode supports super fast response time, and HLG and HDR10 features. Whereas for the cons, blacks appear more grayish, HDR can't compete with that of a TV's HDR. Next in line, we have again the Optoma, where the lower price and great value are fused in HD 146X series, best for the money. Coming at an amazing price, the HD 146X is designed to be more of a wall mount. There is a single input and it can barely zoom in any range. The device is powered with a full HD feature at 1920 to 1080 pixels resolution and an RYGCWB color circle will bring the cinema experience under your roof. The picture quality is unquestionable. It delivers crisp and saturated pictures by allowing you to enjoy 3600 lumens brightness. Deeper black picture accuracy is here too. The dark scenes appear in detailed format and the white color seems to shine. The latest technology of Texas Instruments DLP and DMD single chips are used in order to project the reliable lighting of the digital micro mirror. Moving on to the gaming experience. First, you have to activate gaming mode that is standardized at a 60Hz refresh rate, and then it enables the low input lag and low latency at almost no screen tearing. The noise is labeled at 26 decibels, but the customer complaint says otherwise. The fan is actually way louder when in use. The workaround of the noise is using the echo mode, but that slightly decreases the brightness of the images. Being limited in connectivity puts a wall between watching movies or gaming. In order to break that wall, swap out to HDMI or splitter to do the work for you. The remote that comes with it has backlit lighting. It may seem like it's not a big of a deal. It is a very useful tool and will help you easily navigate your settings in dark environments. Pros, low input lag, four hours of watch life, and excellent bright visuals even in brighter environment. And let's not forget affordable. Whereas for the cons, fan releases some disturbing noises, doesn't support 4K resolution and HDR, cannot zoom in any range, and only 60Hz refresh rate. 
Let's not make BenQ wait in line for more. With its beyond average performance, TH685i deserved to take part on the list best mid-range projector. The lightweight body hosts a rugged and compact usage. Being a great choice for portability can help you take everywhere and the work done while traveling or take in your backyard and enjoy the movie night. But remember, Netflix is not available on this Android TV, so you have to take your laptop and connect it with an HDMI. The automatic keystone makes your job much easier when it comes to installing pl uh, plus 1.3x zoom and digital vertical lens shift aligns with fine tuning. Throw distance of 3.2 creates wider space that allows the projector to be put far away from the wall. The visuals can support a 4K resolution, but at heart it is a 1080p projector, meaning it has a maximum resolution of 1920 to 1080p. No surprise, it's the quality we expect from the mid prices. It features a DLP display that shows 3500A and SI lumen brightness with a six segment color wheel, which sometimes causes the called rainbow effect in the uh, procession of a 10-bit color scheme. Supports 3D content too. Now the colors are way sharper and detailed at the best contrast and depth. Android built-in interface enables Play Store where you can download lots of uh, streaming except Netflix. Keeping the gamers in mind and responding to their needs with a low input lag of 8ms at a refresh rate of 120Hz. Activate the game mode and see how perfectly the voices and images synchronize and the Lumi Expert feature protects your eyes from the potential stain that can be caused during gaming sessions. Connectivity can be via HDMI and HDMI 2.0 inputs that both of them are accepted and even supports 4K HDR signals away from the source. The USB has 1.5 amps of power. What does it mean? If you want to watch streaming platforms from Roku or Amazon Fire, you can use this cable as a connection. Pros. Low input lag, performs like a pro, cast it with AirPlay and Chromecast, and affordable. Whereas for the cons, Netflix is not available, not a 4K resolution, it only supports it, and image quality can be better. Visions are purest than ever with BenQ TK700 SDI, best 4K projector. Expected move from BenQ, the solid build quality with the white color wrapped around gives it a minimalist look. The ceiling mount setup projector can zoom 1.2x throw distance also provides adjustable vertical image rotation in 2D auto vertical keystone. The fan noise doesn't distract you at all, it's quiet when it's running. The 4K high dynamic range is built around a single chip DLP solution where it reaches up to 4000 lumens. It handles the dark and light colors very well that doesn't leave space to wash out. There is a FOFO contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1 added, which means the pictures appear in decency and great contrast so you can enjoy watching movies and playing video games. Running in a slightly old version of the Android system unfortunately doesn't support the Netflix streaming platform, so you have to connect with HDMI port plus RS-232 PC input. But there are lots of great apps available like Vudu, Disney+, YouTube, HBO Max, Peacock, Hulu, Apple TV, and music apps like Tidal and Spotify. Being gaming projector, and of course, the performance is more likely to be in that matter, while in Full HD 1080p, it runs at a whooping 240Hz refresh rate with 4.16ms. My personal opinion is to go for better visuals than a better refresh rate, but this has to do with preference. Shows a great performance especially in Call of Duty Warzone and Forza Horizon 5. It does get loud with the only 5 watt speaker, the sounds have a great depth and the bass has mediocre punchiness. It comes in a keenly priced manner while other brands are a couple of more bucks less than the series. Pros. Great overall performance, colors don't get washed out, and variable refresh rate. Whereas for the cons, Netflix is not available, slightly expensive, and speakers aren't at high performance. The world's first 4LED gaming projector award goes to the BenQ X1300i, best overall. This time, BenQ appeared in fancier form with its ceiling mounting type. The white body is accompanied by a black front where the lines across the projector are drawn in orange. The core of the projector is 4LED DLP technology. The 4K HDR is ready to process 3000A and SI lumen brightness. For super bright vivid colors and great contrast, here comes the auto color calibration mode that saves up for more than 10 years of quality. You're welcome. Moving into the main purpose, the gaming part. Despite being compatible with every console like PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox, 
It comes with an equalized sound system. Open the door of infinite entertaining by being the world's first 4 lit gaming projector. Let me tell you what this is. It is the basic traditional colors added into the blue shades to pump the 3 lit ecosystem where the lighting is converted in phosphor green via ceramic to amplify the green colors outside. As I said before, it has various game modes for each type of style, the FPS, RPG and SPG. Producing fine-tuned sounds and pictures at the same time, we see smooth gameplay as a result of low latency, 8.3 ms input lag and a nice amount of 120Hz refresh rate. Let the living room shine in cinema mode like most of the projectors, access to Android-based interface and search your favorite ma uh, movie or TV show in the Play Store. Watch Netflix only in the Chrome browser or connect the HDMI cable. Speaking of connectivity, it is done via USB Type-A, HDMI 2.0 and RS-232IR receiver. Pros LED light source is super bright, different gaming modes to suit your style and great sound processing. Whereas for the cons, lighter shades of black colors and Netflix is not supported. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care and peace out.